Hi everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and today I will show you my Notion setup. No, this video is not sponsored by Notion. I'm picking my tools depending on how I need them, how they fit into my overall productivity system. No, I'm not using Notion for my project management or task management. Notion is my single source of truth when it comes to knowledge management. You might have seen another video where I compared Notion with Coda and I showed you some advantages that Coda has in their no database setup and all this. I will link the video up there so you can watch this if you're interested in Coda. But to my opinion, Coda is not there yet. They're on the right path, definitely. But I'm using Notion not only for database management, knowledge management. It sounds so complicated. In fact, I'm using it for note taking and leveraging my databases. What this means, we will figure out now. If you want to learn how to set up these databases and make the cross connection, all this that I will show you right now, there is a new online course available for my Inner Circle members where I show you in detail how to set everything up. But now let's dive into this. So we have here on the side a database section where I just collect all the databases. So in Notion it works that you set up pages and you can make these pages actually to tables. And that's what we have here. So let's go for example to the software database right here. So this is where I just, whenever I talk or learn anything new about a software, it goes into here. And this is when you're one of my Inner Circle members, you know I'm teaching the iCore framework and setting up conventions and all this. Freeing up your mind is the solution because saying Notion is my single source of truth, I have a database that's called software. Whenever I hear any new shiny object, coming up or anybody tells me about any app. I know exactly where to note this down. And I made a video about Apple Notes where I quick capture information. Yes, I can do this there, but I don't do knowledge management inside Apple Notes. It is the input of my iCore framework is the Apple Notes and control is Notion. So I maybe scribble something down in Apple Notes because I can much quicker note something down in Apple Notes, but then eventually it will go into Notion and it will stay there. And you will see the, lot, the big advantages that we have here right now. So you see, here here a lot of uh, software already mentioned in this database and what we see when we click on this you see it already here in the columns actually but let's click on notion and what we have here is my videos or videos in general and you see this arrow going up here this means that's a connected database so I have a videos database where all my videos are in that I do for YouTube. So when I click here, I have now all the videos where I mentioned Notion in listed up. With a simple click on one of the videos, I go to this video and I see, ah, in this video, I'm not only talking about Notion, I'm also talking about Rome Research. Now I could click here, click on Rome Research, and I see all the videos where I mentioned Rome Research in. I think you already see the advantage here with navigating through all these different tools. So when we go back to Notion, as I mentioned, there's also a videos database. So this is videos from from other people talking about Notion where I thought this is very interesting. So let's go here, for example, to the Bulletproof Notion workspace, okay? So this is when I try to set up Notion for project management, to test it, because I'm not just complaining, I'm actually also testing it. It's not working for me, but it might be work for others. And here I have all the information I need. I have the video that explains this, so I just need to click here, it will open up the video, I can watch the video. I have the software mentioned in this, so I the find notion.vip is also a software. And here's the YouTube channel. I have the channel owner and also here there's a roll up looking up the YouTube channel and shows me also the owner. And I can click on the owner. It will jump there and the owner actually is a person which is in my people database. And now I have this person and I see all the related videos this person actually published. So I can build up a very dynamic and interactive Wikipedia for my own knowledge. But it doesn't end there. Why Notion is also my preferred note-taking app, you will see now. When we create a new page, so I show you how to take these now new node. You can organize these in different ways. You can also set up a database with your node. So you create a new node here and I start writing, talking about Notion. And instead of writing Notion, I'm mentioning Notion now. And you see by just using the add sign and starting typing, it shows me everything related to Notion. So I can now click on Notion and keep writing writing, was mentioning this, so I just write not, I click this and keep writing. 
Now I have the option to click here and I jump to Notion. So just imagine that you have a long paragraph there with a lot of information. It is like Wikipedia. You click here and you will jump to the related tool that is mentioned in this document. And now also think about work instructions for your team, things like this. They just click here and they will see all the information related to this. And now we have here down there when we're on Notion that I just mentioned in this paragraph, eight backlinks. This is the new buzzword in 2021, already in 2020 is backlinks. Backlinks. But this is really powerful. I cannot live without backlinks anymore because I always feel I'm losing information. We have something like Obsidian or Roam Research where we are using backlinks as well. This is the next level with building up graphs and so on. But then on the other hand, it is too limiting to me. I cannot be the architect in these tools to really build up my knowledge management system the way I need it and I can leverage in different ways. So here I have the combination of my architected databases cross-connected but also backlinks. So you see here all the, the nodes where I actually mentioned Notion in. So when I click here, it will jump to this node and it will highlight the paragraph where Notion was mentioned in. This way, I will never lose information. So I can click on Notion, go here, backlinks, and I see all the other things. So I'm, you know, writing on a book right now. So I click there, it will jump to the sections in this book and you will find this as mentioned with Wikipedia or the Settle Custom Method. Let's stay in the Settle Custom Method. It is actually a concept and I have a concepts database. So let's just show you how this works. I write down settle custom and now you see it doesn't, oh, it is already there. Okay, so now I mentioned Settle Custom. I click here and now I see who is the creator of Settle Custom, which is in my people's database. What are the related videos that explains the Settle Custom method on YouTube? Where are the articles? Okay, and I actually have a productivity guide that explains you the Settle Custom method, but it also explains you the single source of truth principle. So if you really want to learn more about the basics and the method that I use here in Notion, just make sure that you go to my website and you find out more. Obviously, also Tiago Forte mentioned Settle Custom. He is in my people database with Second Brain. So you have the concept Second Brain. I can click here, go to Second Brain and I get the information like related videos and so on. Also his parameter. So I could go here and I find the information. I see, you know, this is the principle of para and I have a backlink where I mentioned para in another concept, which was the Bulletproof Notion workspace. And there I mentioned para because they are talking about this as well. And this is how I'm building up these knowledge databases. And when I'm doing research, creative research, I'm using two tools, Miro to build up concepts. And I talk about this in another video. And I also have an online course, how I do creative research using Miro, but also Notion, because you see how dynamic this all build up. And then I have all the information you know, that I can select. And the other advantage of using Notion is that I can add rich content there. It's so easy to add pictures, videos, what you like in there and have it in one place. Okay, let's go back to the software database that I just mentioned. And if you're one of my Inner Circle members, you know that I talk about the i framework. It stands for Input, Control, Output, Refine. And the goal is to find tools that fit into these different parts of, this pro of a productivity system. So what I have here, I categorized all the software by the different types. And I'm working on to make this available to my Inner Circle members, my whole database, and it will obviously building up and you will get access to all my tools here and you can then click there and get all the information out of these. But I just want to show you different ways how you now can visualize your information different ways. So now we have here iCore and non iCore tools. Then I can give this another level and say this is Tom's tool. So these are, it's not completed yet, but this is a list of the tools that I'm using categorized for the different parts of my iCore system. And this is what I'm teaching in Inner Circle as well. You need to find the different tools, define them for the different parts of your productivity system, and then you will have a lot more peace of mind using your tools you know exactly where to put information and what tool how it is gets connected between the different tools which is the refined part and so on if you want to learn more about this make sure that you join my inner circle and um, if you're in a circle member go to your iCore roadmap and you will learn all about this this is uh, I think already a good deep dive that I showed you here and I'm just scratching the surface I will show you more uh, over the time how my notion is set up how I use it for knowledge management how I manage my team which is 
actually using SOPs, work instruction and things like that. And having uh, automations, which is now just launched the API for Notion. Then we have Readwise that I can show you more about. Just make sure that you subscribe to this channel and you won't miss this. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you're interested to learn how I set up the databases, make sure that you check out my online course. And I'll catch you up next time.